All right, first and foremost, I give all praise and glory to you. How will Yahweh shout by Hashem with Akadash? The most of the elders and apostles, great millstone, who ruled well, and who was worthy to be counted for the Balanus. And peace out to you, brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. So, Brother Gabar here from the Indiana camp, come back and you get one another sit down to basically uh, talk about. Um, uh, I'm just going to hop right into the uh, scriptures. This is uh, Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. It says, Who will rise up against me? Suck it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand for me against the workers of iniquity? All right. So basically, this is, um, you know, the Lord saying, you know, who's going to stand for him and who's going to basically declare his word. All right. Because right now we live in a, a, a a world where it's extremely easy to do wickedness, where you can you can shave your beard and not get judged for it. You can uh, commit adultery and not get judged for it. You can commit a uh, homosexuality and not get judged for it. You can commit um all top of the abominable acts that's a uh, that's a uh, that's against the Lord, that's against the law, and not get judged for it. Matter of fact, on that you actually won't get not only will you won't not get judged for it, you'll actually get praised for it. All right. You slept with another man's wife. Oh, damn, that nigga, that nigga took that nigga wife, man. Shit, he bitched his ass, you know. If you sleep with another man, hey, man, so, you know, hey, that's just the way you are. Love is love. You know, you got something called, um, what's that shit, uh, 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 sap, sapiosexual, some shit like that, where basically uh, they don't have a, a, a specific gender that they like. They just say, they, they just think love is love. If you love a man and if your love, surpa if your love is, is a, 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 a like when you want to be in a relationship with this person, then you're gonna go with a man. If, if you want to be with a woman, you're gonna be with a woman. You know, if you want to be the animal, you can be with an animal. And that's another one, bestiality, man. You know, so right now we live in a society where sin and iniquity is at an all time high. All right, and the Lord is asking, who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Who's gonna declare my word? Who's gonna tell these people that what they're doing is wrong and what the Lord said is right? All right. Because right now, we don't have that, man. All right? If the, if a person see a homosexual, guess what? He won't say nothing. You know, because he's going to look at, he's going to be looked at as the weird one. He's going to be looked at as the, as the outcast, you know? So now, the Lord is asking, well, who, well, well what, what's more important? The way, the way people look at you or my word, man? All right? That's why we go out about there on the highways and byways and declaring this, and declaring, uh, this word into these people's face, man. Like, no, you homosexual, you homosexual people, you LGBT community is going to get put to death. Thus said the Lord, man. All right. Thus said the scriptures. OK. You're going to be put to death. All right. You're going to die the death. All right. It says what the grave shall feed on the sinner. All right. Or feast on a sinner. You know. And another one is, um. let me get this. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter six and verse 28. It says, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start from 27. It says for, it says for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be, shall be quenched. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. All right. And what's that mean? So long without fruit, basically, because right now this world hasn't been ruled in righteousness in so long, man. All right. For, for 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 a number of years this this world has been ruled by nothing but pure wickedness man all right at an all-time high scriptures talks about in Jeremiah which I'm gonna go ahead and get that right quick This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 9. It says, We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go every one into our own country, for her judgment reacheth unto the heavens and is lifted up even into the sky. See? He says, What? Her judgment is lifted to the heavens. Babylon's iniquity over here in America's iniquity, just America alone. Well, America rules the whole entire world, but their iniquity alone, their sin upon sin upon sin has reached all the way into the heavens, man. There's no redemption for this place. It, it, what, what's that saying? You're too far gone. Okay. You're way too far gone. 
All right. There's no redemption for this place. These people has a seared in their mind that they don't want to do nothing but wickedness, man. All right. So guess what? They must be, they must be put to death. All right. Matter of fact, going back to that um, second Ezra, so let me go ahead and jump over to the ninth chapter and the what is it? The 21st verse nine and 20. Lock in. Give me a minute. I just gotta find it. Here it is, right here. It's 11. Um, yeah, this is a uh, uh, second Ezra chapter nine, verse 11. It says, and they that loathed my law while they yet had liberty and while they and, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. All right. So guess what, man? In order to get Jake to understand something, you must whoop their ass, man. All right. And Lord, how about Shem Yashai completely understand that. Why? Because he's his people. He knows how they act. All right. So guess what? He has certain people. He has two thirds of his people that are destined to be destroyed because he understand that they're not going to get the truth. They're not going to understand it. The only way they're going to understand it unless they die to death and come back as a righteous seed. All right. That's the only way they're going to be able to understand it. OK, now, don't get me wrong. The, the Lord does have the uh, uh, has the option to uh, awaken their mind and for them to be healed. But no, where's the lesson in that, man? You know, they don't understand their lesson. They're not getting the lesson, man. They're over here living lavishly in, in America, man. Why his people, why his, why his elect is struggling? No, there's no balance in that. All right. So guess what? The balance is what his elect struggle on this side, and and and, and in kingdom they uh, they rest, and then while the wicked is uh, uh while the wicked is also struggling, but they're they're living a little bit more comfortably. What they gonna die the death, and then they live a little bit more. Uh, uh, uh they live a uh, slightly better in the kingdom, man. You know, that's the balance of it. Okay. But for you people out here that is uplifting wickedness, man, you're going to be you're going to die, man. All right. You're going to die. You're going to be put to death by, uh, by the Lord, Yahweh, Bashan, Yashah, and by his elect, man. Because why? Because you're not declaring the, the, the words of Yahweh, Bashan, Yashah. All right. We don't care what you we don't care how we look, man. If you a faggot, let me stop saying it before I get this, this video taken down. If you're a homosexual. All right. And I say, hey, the Lord's going to destroy you. You know, I don't care how you look at me. I don't care how you tell your uh, your friends about me. I don't care how the world looks at me about that, man. All right. The Lord said what he said. OK, that's it. That's all. All right. I don't care how you look at me about it, man. All right. Because guess what? This, it's not about what I think, man. It's about what the Lord said. OK, if he said, hey, a uh, 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 homosexual is be put to death, not to be praised and not to be uh, looked at as far as an idol. All right. Then that's so be it, man. All right. I have one more scripture after this. What I wanted to get. I knew I was going to forget it, too. Um, I was talking about. Um, I was talking about the people. Uh, 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 how the judgment reached into the heavens, how Babylon's wickedness is reached to the heavens. Um, it's not standing up for the Lord. Oh, man, I completely forgot it. Oh, man, I should have got it. I should have got it when I was thinking about it, but. Yeah, man. Um, kind of threw my train of thought off a little bit. But yeah, man, like I was saying, man, hey, yeah, you people, man, that's not uh, uplifting the Lord, man. Because right now, hey, the scripture says the, the truth has been so long without fruit. Because right now, we're not dwelling. Hey, the elder, Ayash, uh, the elder of my camp, Ayash, always say, man, hey, it's it's extremely easy to do wickedness right, wickedness right now, man. If I go out and I try to get with a chick and she's and I know she has a man and I get with her, man, I'm not going to look at be looked at that down pawn. I tell people that they're not look at me like, oh, you a piece of shit. You this, you that. They're going to praise me for it. You did that. Was it good? I know it was good. Shit. Did you did you eat his food, too? Did you use his toilet? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good feeling, ain't it? When you do that, you know, it's a hey, hey, I'm not going to be looked at as an evil person for that. But according to the scriptures, I just did a, a vow and a, a wicked act, man, that's actually liable to get me put to death. All right. According to the scriptures, and there's nobody on this planet Earth that's upholding that, man. All right. 
everybody's saying, oh, well, you know, you saw, you, well, you know, the white man says it's okay, you know, so thus far I can do it, you know. Don't even consider what the Lord says. That's why, that's why it says, oh, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, you made what the God of this world, man, you know, roughly paraphrasing. These people praise the God of this world, man, but we praise the, 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 the true and holy one, all right, which is Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, you know. That's what we praise. And, and how do we show our praises is that we uh, follow the statutes, all the commandments to our best of our abilities, man. Now, we understand that we can't, um, what is it? Uh, we can't uh, establish the law over here in Babylon because the scripture says what? How can a, a, a clean thing come out of an unclean thing? You know, so we I completely understand that when we come over, uh, uh, when we come over here, while I'm mean, sorry, while we're over here, we're not gonna get the law 100%, man. It's impossible to get the law 100%. Okay, so and we're also on top of that, we're in these uh, uh, fleshly bodies, so it makes it even worse that we're gonna go off unintentionally. All right, so things that we don't even want us to do, we're gonna do it anyways. For example, wearing mixed fabrics. You know. Wearing silk, or, 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 uh, 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 your shirt might be silk, your pants might be cotton, your shoes might be polyester and rubber, you know? Wearing all type of mixed fabrics, man, which is uh, completely going off in the scriptures, man. You know? Hey, another thing is, we're supposed to wear, uh, we're supposed to wear uh, fringes on all our, our, on our garments, man, with flax, okay? Why are we doing that? No, man. You know, our shirts and pants don't have fringes, you know? Our garments that we have on that does not have fringes, you know? So we have to go out in society without fringes, man. You know, well, that's, in, that's in the law, you know? Hey, men are supposed to have beards on their face, man, you know? But some brothers' jobs uh, 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 prevent them to have that, man, you know? Now, I now grant you, they can just quit that job and get another job, and, you know, then boom, you know, problem fixed, you know? But with, uh, but certain brothers might be in certain careers where it's not actually feasible for them to quit their job, you know? Whether you're a, fire, a firefighter or, or a doctor or something, you know, now... Esau's being a little more lenient on the beard thing. You know, you might have a five, five o'clock shadow, some type of f facial hair, you know. But still, man, the, the point is that we cannot keep the law 100%, whether we try to keep it the best of our ability or not, man. Hey, another thing is the Sabbath, all right? The Sabbath, we're not supposed to buy or sell, kennel a fire, or eat. I'm not, sorry, not eat. We're not supposed to buy or sell, kennel a fire, or work on the Sabbath day, man, you know. But guess what? Jake has it, uh, Esau has, has it where you actually have to go in on the Sabbath. You actually have to buy things on the Sabbath. You actually have to, some brothers are cooks, you know, some brothers are chefs where they have to go in and actually kindle the fire and, and what, and whatnot, you know, so we can't keep the Sabbath 100%. And the scripture says he who don't keep the Sabbath is, uh, uh, will be put to death. Let me get that. Uh, this is uh, Exodus chapter 31 verse 15. It says six days must six days may work by it says six days may work be done. But on the Sabbath is the Sabbath of rest. Holy to the Lord. Whosoever doth any work in the Sabbath day, he he shall surely be put to death. See, so according to the scriptures, if you work on the Sabbath day, you're supposed to be put to death. That's a scripture to me to be put to death, man. All right. You know, and, and, and most definitely, I work on the Sabbath. Now, do I, I, now some days I might not work on the Sabbath. Some days I might I, I choose like you know what? Nah, it's the Sabbath. I'm gonna just go home and go to sleep. You know, you know. Then the days I try to uh, uh, get the, get most of my sleep in is on the Sabbath. You know, but if it, if if it's viable, I need to go to work. I was like, fuck, I need to go to work, man, because I need to pay bills. You know, but the point is that we know that we cannot establish 100% of the law while we're over here in America, man. But we do keep the best of our ability. We do have that effort, man. And the Lord will reward us in what, man? An A for effort, okay? So that's what's going to be justified. That's what's going to be liable, man. At least you tried, man. You know, at least you tried. At least you understood and you tried your best, all right? Putting your best foot forward, all right? That's what's going to get us redemption. That's what's going to get us the kingdom of heaven, man. Us trying, Okay, not getting one hundred percent perfect, not getting it uh, right every time, but what that you you get up after you fall and keep trying, keep going on, man, keep enduring. Scripture says, "What about endurance?" I'm gonna get it, and I'm Lord, Lord willing. This is uh, 
This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same, the same shall be saved, man. So what? That endurance, man, that endurance that we have, that's what's going to save us, man. That's what's going to be our, uh, 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 our justification, okay, that we endured until the end. You know, we didn't lose faith. We didn't uh, uh, put down the plow. All right. These are the things that's going to get us redemption man, and salvation. OK. Scripture says what the Lord is not one to forget your right, your righteous acts, man. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. So, hey, man, hey, for you, for you, for you wicked ass people out there. And, I, and then really, to be honest, this is the reason why I'm mad, man, because I, uh, 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 I was condemning a homosexual and it, it was a thousand motherfuckers that had something to say about, oh, oh you did, you, yeah, you, 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 you this, you did, you that. Oh, yeah. Well, look at you. You ain't no better than this and that. Try to, uh, uh, try to uh, 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 defend a, a homosexual, man. You know? And I said, man, the Lord's going to kill every single one of you people, man. All right? Because y'all just saying it's hell with the Lord, man. Oh, well, to hell with the Lord. This homosexual deserves rights, too. He deserved this. He deserved that. And another one, man, is you people... That uh, are getting these sex change operations, man. Hey, man, the Lord's going to destroy you too. All right? Saying, oh, I was mistakenly born a male. Or I was mistakenly born a woman. How? Do, how what? How was you mistakenly born anything, man? Wait a minute. Who, who are you to be born and saying, no, I was supposed to be this way? What? Like you have some type of control over your... Man, let me... All right, with that, I want to give all praise and all glory to you. How about Shem Yashah, about Shem Rekha Kodash. That belongs to the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well. And peace, citations, you brothers out there is pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. Shalom.